Hello, hello, loves. I just wanted to do another energy check in. So I just saw a post and it was this guy talking about um, whether or not he should drink this uh, 1973 wine, Grant Cardone. If any of you are wondering, like, who the hell is she talking about? It doesn't really matter. But anyways, I saw a few comments in the comment section saying, I thought you didn't drink. And people are like, yeah, same. And I feel like I feel like it was resonating to someone's message here. This doesn't have to do with drinking. This could have to do with something else in life. Like people are going to be like, oh, I thought you didn't like that. I thought you didn't do that or something like that. And I heard someone saying, well, bitch, I do now. Mind your business. So I feel the energy of people possibly judging you or maybe trying to find out what it is you're up to. Like with that whole mind your business thing, like someone's in your business. Someone wants to know what you got going on. So let's see what's going on with that energy. Like I just felt like this quick rush to like hurry and get this message out. So let's see it was popping. Make sure you hit that like button. All right. I just heard back in action. Someone's back in action. Mm. Mm. What does that mean? I don't know. Ooh, page of swords. I like that. That gives me the vibe of back in action. Really spontaneous. Like you unpredictable. And people are wondering like, what is he doing? What is she doing? And this page of sword looking like mind your business. What's going on with this energy spirit? Mm -hmm. So I feel like I feel like there's someone here that divine is trying to protect you from. Maybe that's why you're being intuitively guided to make sure this person stays out of your business. Like, I'm getting, <clears throat> this person is distracted. They were really focused on you, but spirit's distracting them elsewhere. Yeah, oh my gosh, I just felt that message. <clears throat> I was just listening to another tarot reader the other day, Flavored Vivid, and she was talking about how somebody was like, quick, look over there, so they could like, distract this person so they're not worrying about what you got going on why is this person worried about what the collective got going on oh boy <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. somebody's worried that you're gonna take their place somebody's worried that you're gonna take their position is what i'm seeing here it's like their crown, spirits taking their crown from them and giving it to you. Whoa. Hmm, my gosh. Yikes. Yeah, I feel like, oh my gosh, whatever, whatever they had, Whatever they have, spirit's taking it from them. So this person, goddamn, they must have been in your business a lot of spirits coming for them like that. I'm hearing, like, give me everything you got down to the clothes on their back. They're taking everything. It's repo time is what I just heard. So you could hear about this person getting a lot of things repossessed. Ooh, I just heard this person is also possessed. A lot of dark energy. Wow. For some of you, this could be someone in your family. Aquarius vibes. I'm also getting this could be someone in your community, maybe your business family, work family. I'm also picking up on... 
I just heard I thought we were family. So you could be telling <clears throat> this person that they could be telling you this because you're being given the crown. They may they may be feeling like you're taking it from them, but spirits giving it to you. And you're over here minding your own business. I feel like you don't even want the position. You don't even want the crown. But it's being given to you because of this pe this person being in your business. It's like if any of you had any problems, any issues, they're taking that on too. And you're taking their spotlight, their success, their alignment. I feel like they're all out of alignment. And now you're becoming in, oh, I see. Wow, it's like roles are being reversed. You could have been at the bottom and now you're going to be at the top. Roles are being reversed. They wanted to walk in your shoes. And now you're being able to walk in this person's shoes. And this person looks like they live a very wealthy lifestyle. Yeah, it's like they have everything. The family, the, the finances, the confidence, the beauty. They have everything. But they can't have it anymore because they wanted what you had. And I feel like for some of you, you barely, you really, I'm hearing you barely even have anything. But it's your sharpness. It's your mind. It's your, it's your mentality. That's what it is. It's your mentality. They want your fucking mentality. This person could be going through a lot of mental conflict right now. It's like they have everything, but they're still feeling lack and that's where it says like money can't buy you happiness like if you ain't got that mentality if you ain't got that peace within yourself mo that money can't provide that shit for you and this per oh wait that is interesting tell me about the collective that i'm reading for what do they got going on right now Ooh we ace of cups we got two aces on your end collective I feel like you're receiving a lot of love. You're feeling a lot of blessings coming through from divine, feeling really emotionally secure, feeling stable within. And I feel like that's what, yeah, it's like I'm picking up on the same vibe. That's what this person wants. They want that feeling. They got, they got everything. They got stability externally, but internally they lacking. Wow. Yeah, it's like you got that empress energy. I don't chase, I attract. It's like you do things without even trying. But I also feel like you're really magnetic right now. And this person is so drawn to you. They want to know what you got going on. What are the mutual feelings between these energies? What are the mutual feelings? Ooh, that just flipped. Wow. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah. There is none. That's what I just heard. There is none. Dead. It's dead. There's nothing. So I feel like for some of you, you may not even know who this person is, or maybe you just know that the connection is dead. It's been long gone. You haven't spoken to this person in a long time. You've been alone. You've been away from this person, but they're, they're watching you. Yeah, they're watching you. And I feel like they want to come forward. They want to talk to you. They want to collaborate with you, but they're really guarded right now. I feel like they're afraid of what you're going to say. Why are they afraid of what you're going to say? Hmm. Hmm. Because they know that you put that, the idea of that connection, collaboration, friendship, whatever this is, 
relationship. You put it to rest. You turned your back on it. You already made a brand new life for self without them. Yeah, it's like I did it without you. So this could have been someone that you needed help from in the past. And maybe they didn't help. They didn't reach out. So you put it to rest. But I do feel it's like divine is stepping in again. Why are they stepping? What is this in regards to? Wow. I feel like they're stepping in. There's something about them trying to heal this connection. It could even be a partnership. It doesn't have to be romantically. Already, like I said, family, friend, whoever this may resonate for or with. Divine, oh my gosh, as above, so below. Divine is stepping in. There's something about you both need each other. Like what you have, they lack. What you lack, they have. There's something about the both of you need each other. And maybe what got in the way? What got in the way, Spirit? I'm seeing the work, work got in the way. But let me go back to this energy because the magician and the hanged man came up and magician is as above, so below. And it's giving me that vibe. The magician is standing up, you know, holding his arm out to the sky. The hanged man is hanging upside down. It's like you're as above and this person here is so below. Like it, 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 it's just right. It just mixes well together. It blends well together. It, they complement each other is what I'm hearing. They complement each other. Like there's two energies here of someone at a higher position as well. That could be that person. What got in the way was they may have got a higher position and maybe left you to figure it out on your own. <clears throat> That's interesting energies. I don't know if I already asked, but let's ask again. How would they know who this person is? I'm hearing it was the person that slept on you or that you slept on. No, that slept on you, right? That slept on you in regards to work. They didn't see you. They didn't see how determined you are. They didn't see that you are a hard worker, that you were very skilled. Wait, what did I say? How would you know who this person is, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. It was the one that slept on you. Could have been the one that you dreamed of. I'm also saying you could have been having dreams about this person. Dreams about working with them. How else would they know who this person is? Ooh, we got Emperor and the Hermit came out. So this could be an Aries. It could be a Virgo as well for some of you. Someone you work with. This could be, <clears throat> I just heard a light worker. Spiritual. A guide. A boss. All right, so let's get an outcome for this energy so we can close this off. What's the outcome of this energy, Spirit? Hmm. Change. There's something about, 
What was that called? A golden... Damn. <clears throat> it's not golden opportunity. Golden... Damn, I can't remember what it was. But there's something about somebody's going to be offering you something. You could be going through some sort of pain. Maybe suffering from some sort of broken heart. Maybe some sort of separation. But there's an offering that's being made. And I feel like it's coming from spirit. Like spirits blessing this person with something and they're going to gift it to you. Spirits guiding them to gift you with something. Wow. I feel like it's finances. Maybe they're investing in you. Yeah, it's going to bring in a lot of wish fulfillment. Somebody's going to finally start feeling more and more content. What is this gift? Wow. <clears throat> a spark, creation. Whatever this gift is, it's going to... I'm seeing reconciliation as well. I'm hearing forgiveness. Peace offering is what I'm getting, a peace offering. But it's magic. It's something about magic. Do you believe in magic? Is what I just heard. Final card for the outcome. Oh yeah. They're coming in. They're coming in with a gift. A spell. I feel like spirit has them under some sort of spell, some sort of trance, because I feel like this person wouldn't normally do this. They would never go out of their way to do this. And spirit's pulling the strings here. Yeah, we got justice at the bottom of the deck. As above, so below. The scales need to be balanced. That's why, and that's how the scales are going to be balanced. They have to gift you with something. Yeah, mm-hmm. Judgment. Spirit's been calling them to do this. They said it's done. It's a done deal. It's a final decision. All right, so that's what I got. I trust that brought someone clarity here. I love you all. Aloha.